topic that we are going to learn today is disk scheduling. Now see there are different algorithms that has been proposed for disk scheduling. The first one algorithm is first come first serve. First come first serve algorithm says that whichever the request first come that will be served first. The shortest seek time first says that wherever your head is from that whichever the shortest distance that will be served first. The scan, the scan will go to the end of your cylinder that is one end of your cylinder and then it will come back and perform the remaining request look look will not go up to the end okay so this see these two are related they are almost same but scan will go to the end of your one uh, one uh, side of your cylinder but look will go up to the end of the last request then circular scan and circular look is similar that they will not serve any request in returning. No, so they don't serve or we can say that they doesn't serve any request while coming back. Okay, now let us take an example and see how to find out number of six okay what we have to find out in this is the number of six for the request okay so this is the request and this is given that there are 200 cylinders from 1 and 2 200 and we have said that initially we are at the point of 53 and moving in a right direction so what i will do over here is i will first write down what are the requests so 98 is a request then 50 60 70 80 83 is a request 183 then 122 is a request 183 122 124 is a request 65 is a request 67 is a request then 20, 20, 30. 37 is a request, 14 is a request, so 3, 3, 6, 7, 8 request are there, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, okay, now see what first we will implement is, first come first, so what we will do, we will draw a dotted line over here, so we don't have to draw the same line again and again, okay. So right now we are on a 50 cylinder and first come first serve says that whichever request has come first serve it first. So first 98 will be served, <coughs> then 83 will be served, then 37 will be served, then 122 will be served, then 14 will be served, then 124 will be served then 65 will be served and then 67 will be served so 65 and lastly 67 now what we have to find out over here is the seek time the seek time is the difference between this okay so i can directly say right now i'm on a 53 and i have gone to 183 so the difference is 183 minus 53 so it is nothing but 130 then we have to find out this distance this distance is nothing but 183 minus 37 similarly this distance that is 122 minus 37 now this distance is 122 minus 14 this distance is 124 minus 14 and this distance lastly is 124 minus 65 and this distance is 2 that is 67 minus 65 so we have to sum up all this distance and we will get what will be the seek time if we used the first come first serve this scheduling algorithm so it is around 640 you have to sum up it okay i am not showing you the sum up but you can sum up it on calculator it is 640 now next strategy is shortest seek time first. What does the shortest seek time first say is that you can arrange this request in ascending order. Okay, so first is 14, then 37, then 65, 67, 
183 so these are the eight requests now we know that rightly currently it is we are on a one or oh sorry 53 now whichever is the minimum distance from 53 we will move in that direction okay now if you see 53 will come before 65 so obviously 53 lies between 37 and 65 so let us see the difference between 65 and 53 so difference between 65 and 53 is uh, 8 okay the difference between 65 and 53 is 8 and the difference between 53 and 37 is 16 so obviously in which direction I will move I will move to the 67 from 67 obviously 65 obviously 67 is the minimum distance so I'm moving to 67 now from 67 I have to see whether the 90 is the closest or from 67 whether the 14 is the closest so if we see the difference between 98 and 67 the difference is around 31 okay 98 and 67 and if I see the difference between 67 and 14 the difference between 67 and 14 is around 53 sorry 37 isn't uh, solved it so we have to see the difference between 37 and 67 so 67 to 98 we know that the difference is 31 from 67 to 37 the difference is 30 so 30 is smaller than 31 so I will solve first 37 now from 37 the difference between 37 and 98 is more than 37 and 14 so I will next solve the 14 after solving 14 I can go for the all remaining request that is up to 183 the last request So to find out the difference or a seek time, 183 minus 14, 67 minus 14, 67 minus 33, uh, 53. So we have to sum up this, this comes around 236. Okay. So in shortest seek time first, first arrange in ascending order and then see which is the difference, which is the minimum distance, we will move in that direction first. Okay. The now next one is the scan and look okay so i will just tell you what is the difference between scan and look so what the scan will do right currently i'm in a 53 if it goes serving up to the end of my cylinder that is up to 200 and then it will come up to 14 so for scan you can directly find out the difference between the last cylinder that is 200 minus the current position and here you can find out the difference 200 minus the smallest request that will give you the number of six for a scan this is a scan this is shortest seek time first and this is first come first serve now see how the scan and look is differ scan will go up to this end okay so look will not go up to this end look will go up to the last request only so look will start from 53 go up to the last request and go up to this last request so the distance is 183 minus 53 183 minus 14 so this is the extra overhead in a scan most of the time the gate uh, in gate examination question can be asked what is the extra overhead in scan then look so this is the extra overhead this going and coming back both but here look there is no overhead similarly you can see that see scan and see look what they are going to do is if i am currently on a 53 in c scan i will go up to this end i will come to this end and when i am returning i will not serve any request instead of that i will serve request when i am going this direction so requests are served on in only one direction so 14 will be served last but from going this direction and from 53 i will go up to the end because it is a scan in look again see look i will go up to this end that is the last request 80, 183 and in returning i will not serve any request then i will again start the 
Drake vs. Sully. Okay, so this is circular scan and circular look. In circular scan and circular look, we will not serve any request when we are returning. We will serve the request in only one direction. Okay, in which the, your head is moving. And in scan and look, the difference is scan will go up to the end of your cylinder, one end of your cylinder. This is the another end of your cylinder. So it will go up to one end of a cylinder. But look will not go up to the end of your cylinder. It will go up to the last request only. Okay, so this is how the uh, your day scheduling will work. They will also ask you when the request uh, 122 will be served on which number. So first, the request 65 is served, then this one, then the third request served is this, fourth is this, and then we will coming in this direction. So 98 that is the fifth and the sixth request served is 122. So at which number this 122 is served is on sixth number. So another type of question that can be asked is this. Otherwise they will ask you what will be the seek time and they will ask you what is the difference between this seek time. The seek time for every is thing is different. Okay. C scan it is 8, 3, 382 for C look is it uh, 322. And for look, it is around 992, 299. Okay. And scan and uh, this I have already written over here. Hope you have understood the concept of dictionary. Thank you.